Well, greetings, folks. Your friendly neighborhood, Rictus Gate here. In this video, I want to discuss this whole thing with this New York-based uh, faith group, um, a satanic group that's planning on uh, erecting a statue of Satan, uh, where there was once, I guess, a monument to the Ten Commandments. And it's 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 really really funny uh, that uh, on Fox News there was, uh, of course, a discussion group between an atheist, a rabbi, and uh, a Christian. And how the Christian and the rabbi, of course, were up in arms about this whole thing. Well, folks, um, to put it simply, you made your bed. I'll explain that, if you want. So, lie in it. You made it. You can lie in it. Uh, there was a video, there's a number of videos online about this on YouTube. But, um, The Quiet Atheist put up a video. It's pretty good. Go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And I just left a brief comment, and it kind of summarizes my thoughts. I might go into it a bit more. But the Christian community that feels so slighted by the gesture from another faith-based community have no grounds for complaint whatsoever. It is, ba it is these very people who interpret the First Amendment to read, you have freedom of religion, not freedom from religion. It doesn't ex ex specify which religion, now does it? And Satanism is just another type of faith or religion. If only the Christians had heeded the original intent behind the First Amendment, they were the ones who opened the Pandora's box. Yes, you folks are the ones who made the bed. You can lie in it. The secularists, shut up and lie in it actually. The secularists, which include many, many theists, atheists and agnostics, were the ones who were sounding the alarm. And telling the Christians that if you want to have religious dis displays, then all forms of faith and philosophy should be welcome. It's either that or shut the door to all of them. All of them. Just like the First Amendment advises. Grr. <laughs> I go on. I ramble a lot. But the, US has, but the U.S. has a majority of Christians, they screech. Typically. So fucking what? It wouldn't matter if there was only one non-Christian in the whole country. Just one. You just need one. doesn't matter. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms is geared towards protecting the minority from the tyranny of the majority. The Founding Fathers took a look at the heavily theocratic old world style of politics and decided to do something different. They adopted some of the, they adopted some of the Enlightenment ideals and attempted to create a nation that was a safe haven to guarantee the rights of the individual to pursue and think about life with minimal constraint from government. And they recognized how poisonous and divisive the mix of religion and politics was. Hence, the first right guaranteed is a government or Congress free from the puppet strings of religion. That's even the first thing on the list. There's a number of other things too, but that's the first thing on the list. Pretty simple principle. And Christians of this ilk spit on it every time they speak about it it pisses me off so much and i'm a fucking canadian so that's kind of in a nutshell how i feel about this it put up or shut up simple as that i mean um i hear these type of christians once again usually are the ones who are oh touting about the exceptionalism and amazingness of the united states and you know what? You're spitting on that exceptionalism. You're spitting on that amazingness that was there. Because that's why, that's, that's why uh, these ideals of the U.S. were, uh, were, they're not anymore, were so um, espoused, were so, like, wow, celebrated. That's what set it apart. And it, it's really, really saddening to watch you people shit all over your own country. Um, I hear Haggy screeching about him. Hey, get out of here, this plane's leaving every day. Well, Mr. Haggy, the constitution of the states, the United States where you live, and where all these other people live, guarantee that, hey, pff, I don't have to move out. If you want this religion, if you want this mixture, move to Indonesia yourself, because they are officially a monotheistic country. It's entrenched in their constitution. Very specifically entrenched. It's not wishy-washy at all. And they accept Christians, because you are monotheistic. So, in a way you are. <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, that's enough for now. I guess I'll talk to you folks later. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Salut.